I want to show you how to slice letters out of a picture. I had somebody reach out to me on social media and they wanted to make this project. So I am going to go find the picture they sent me, which I saved to my computer under my images folder. This is kind of where I keep all of my images until I have time to do the project that I wanted to do with them. Um, here it is, sunset. Okay, so I want all of the color and design in this image, so I'm going to choose complex. And I'm not going to change it at all because this is going to be a print then cut image. But I want to slice letters out of it so I could put it on a shirt and have it look like kind of the sunset's going on in the shirt, if that makes sense. So, um, I mean, you could do any word. I think they were going to do California, but you could do summer or fun or beach. Let's do beach. So I'm going to go text and type in the word beach. And now I want to find like a nice thick font. This can sometimes be the hardest part is finding a font you like. That's is kind of fun. Okay, so if I did this and then put it down here so it gets the palm trees and the sunset in there. Okay, so because I have all of the letters, they're kind of in one grouping, and the picture is one thing, so that means I only have two things selected, so I can use slice. So now I will go slice like this, and then I will move away this part and this part, and what I have left is this that I can print then cut and it'll print this image like this but cut around those letter pieces so you can kind of see the sunset and the beach in there. You could do this with any letters. You could do your initials, you could do words, you can do any images. I've seen people do this for gifts where you do it personalized with the person's name and then it's a picture of them in there, or do a family picture and the word family, um, anything. Then if you want something to kind of stand out more, here's another extra step if you want to. Let's say you want like a little white border around this because it's going on a dark color shirt. You could add a little offset to the whole thing and go apply and then change that offset to white, let's do. And right now it's set for print then cut because that's our original project was print then cut. So I'm gonna go basic cut. So now it switched to gray, so we wanna go white. So now let's say we put this on a black shirt or a dark gray shirt. I like to do this just to get the look. If I were to put this on a darker colored shirt, that's how it would look. And you could even change this and say, well, what if I put it on a light blue shirt to try and match the light blue in the sky? That would look fun too. So I hope this helped you to look at your font your fonts and your letters and how you can do more with them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you get all of my latest tips and tricks leave me a comment let me know how you would use this or ask me a question and let me know what you want to see thanks